Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. Bitches getting money all around the world cause girls is players too. That's right, it is Female Friday. And on this day I like to feature female artists past, present, or future on the channel. Now, tonight, as I was talking to somebody, I actually wasn't going to do any videos tonight, and the more I started talking about, you know, what I do here in front of the camera, the more I was like, you know what, just at least do one video. You want to know why? You know it's hard out here for a pimp when you're trying to get this money for the rent. So, I went through a lot of people. I was going to do Joan Jett. I was going to do the Bangles. I was going to do Taylor Dane, but they all got blocked to me. So, I went back and I did somebody who I had already done before a while back, and that is Heart. And the song is called These Dreams. Now, actually, Ann Wilson was just here in Columbus, Ohio on the 4th of July to do uh, a suburb of Columbus's Dublin's uh, fireworks. So she, they normally have a concert before, and then right as soon as the last song is done, the fireworks go right up over the stage, and it's a great spectacle. And I didn't get to go this year because if you know and you've seen me, I don't, my car isn't working right now, and so I couldn't go there. I also worked that day as well, so, you know, um, it's a little bit tiring when you have to work, and then you try to go out, and then you have to get up the next day and go to work. So, I didn't get to see her. But, I've always loved Heart. I've always loved and Wilson, whether she's doing a song for Footloose, whether she's doing a song from back in the day, or whether she was doing a song with heart, and even though it is a poppy type of sound. Now, this song was actually written or co-written by Bernie Toppin and uh, another person called Martin Page. And Bernie Toppin normally writes songs for Elton John or is well known for writing songs with Elton John. But he also wrote Starships, We Built This City, and a song called King of Wishful Thinking, which I remember was a pretty popular song in the 80s. So when I read that he did this song, I was like, you know what? I'm not surprised. I'm surprised Bernie Toppin did it, but I didn't even know who the other person was. But I'm I'm not surprised if you wrote those other songs that you wrote this song. But this song is way better than We Built This City. That's right, I said it. It's a fact. So let's take a look at what this song actually did on the charts. And Balamo. It went to number 27 in Australia, number 6 on the Canada Top Singles, number 1 on the Canada Adult Contemporary, number 11 on just the Canada The Record, number 23 in Finland, 30 in Ireland, 39 in the Netherlands, Dutch Top 40, 38 on the Netherlands Single Top 100, 62 in the UK. What's up with you, friends? Number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Number one on the U.S. Adult Contemporary. Number two on the U.S. Mainstream Rock. And number one on the U.S. Cashbox Top 100 Singles. Now, that's big time, you know, major. And I was a junior in high school when this song came out. So, you know, it was really, really popular. And it made a big rotation on... MTV when MTV actually played music videos. So, if you like videos like this and others on my channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm doing at least 10 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, here is Heart and These Dreams. Let me ask you a question. You, you never really remember the beginning of a dream, do you? You always wind up right in the middle of what's going on. I guess, yeah. 
So how did we end up here? Well, we just came from the, uh... Think about it, Ariadne. How did you get here? Where are you right now? We're dreaming. singing I, I firmly believe that Ann is singing most of it you know but I don't know uh, it'll probably say if I were to look it up that you know both of them are doing leads which I'm fine with um, it's a shame that the sister I don't know what happened with the sister uh, that she can't go on tour with you know Ann but you know it is what it is uh, but if you are still here I think you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, 
subscribe, share, and comment.